You're listening to Why You Suck in Bed on the Riotcast Network, riotcast.com. What's up? This is Matt Pax, and you are listening to Why You Suck in Bed. I dare you to listen to it, Why You Suck in Bed, without a boner. It's pretty much impossible. It's the dirtiest podcast I've ever been on. <laughs> It was TP, wasn't it? No, he's on like my <laughs> microphone. Oh, I just wanted you to rumor. be weird. I wanted it to be weird. I'm sorry. TP doesn't wear linen pants. <laughs> he can't. Because he doesn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. I'd be arrested like Carlos and not be allowed around children if I wore linen. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> Why you suck in bed? I am Dr. Stacy. We have a new little cast here because uh, a few of our regular members are on hiatus. They're actually doing some field work. So I am here with the amazing TP. I'm a machine. <laughs> We're going to have to play that clip. And the lovely Henry the Ninth. Yes, he's here. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, how are you? I'm doing well. We are joined by someone who's been on the show before. She was definitely a crowd pleaser. And... Always. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the lovely Paige. Hello. Hello, my sexy babies. <laughs> Paige is here. She is not only very talented in the music world, but she is also beautiful and a representative of TwistedToys.net. With a Z. T-O-Y-Z. Z. Uh, wow. That was not appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> was it? You were commenting on my burp, so I just played one of yours. Yeah, TP's very gassy today. Um, TwistedToys.net supplies... Really awesome sex toys. That's why my hand's on my stomach <laughs> when I yeah. put my cock cage on. So Paige brought a little um, gift bag full of sex toys, and we love them. Goodies. And one of them is called <laughs> Universal Gates of Hell. Universal. R- Rings of Pleasure. We're going to tweet the picture <laughs> because <laughs> there is amazing. a man whose entire genitalia is shaved. And he's holding his penis with this cock cage slash cock ring. Gates of hell. Scenario. But he's Should, holding his... Be nine? He's holding his stomach as though he's either with child or about to shit himself. Or as I said, he's doubling as a Santa Claus model. So he's holding in his male gun. Maybe he had an ingrown hair he's trying to cover because he's very he, he well looks, shaven. He looks aroused and gassy. And glossy, I might add. It's not sexy. I mean, I would not fuck this man. Like, what's wrong with your intestines? What? I don't understand. <laughs> Do you have a hernia? Right? Where are your Spanx? Cough. Cough. <laughs> so that's one of the toys. Another toy... Let's see. Henry, hand them over. The scorpion. The scorpion. That one's my favorite. Dual pleasure ring with stinger anal vibe. And there is a hot chick. Looks like she's getting rammed from behind. Now that's a hot picture. Oh, she totally is. Look at that. Paige, can you explain how to properly use this apparatus, please? (laughs) All right. Let me have this, baby. If I can paint the picture for the listeners, it's basically a jelly cock ring with a tail attachment that looks... Very reminiscent to a scorpion tail with a vibrating bullet at the end that's meant for 
anal use. So you can use the cock ring and simulate the anus at the same time. It's called the Scorpion it's Super Extreme Vibe. Oof. I need this. <laughs> well, you have it. I'm taking it. And it's it. hot <laughs> pink. And it will look yeah. amazing on you. I think, I think so. It's Especially hot pink. The pink looks nice. <laughs> <on there. laughs> Makes you look bigger. <laughs> exactly. And the final, well, not the final. We also have some lube, I believe. I don't know yes, where it went. Yes, but there are the Pleasure Stars Jelly Cock Rings. They look like gummy rings. Don't they? They look don't, like I can eat them. Don't eat them. It's Yummy. a multi-pack. The theme to the Gummy Bears cartoon is playing in my head. <laughs> yeah. Dancing here and there They're and everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> Gummy Bears. Are we dating like, ourselves? Yes. That's mm-hmm. okay. 19 years ago today, Kurt Cobain committed suicide. Today? Today. And 11 wow. years ago oh. today, Wayne Staley died. Jesus. Oh. Today oh. sucks. We're super old. My two favorites. Yeah. Anywho, so <laughs> there. <laughs> anyways, there's Back this to the cock rings. amazing black one. Look at that. Look one. at the nubs on that fucker. That one is badass. Well, <laughs> they're all shades of pink, and then a little orange one, and then there's the badass black one in the middle. Basically, what she has in her hand is a, like a multi pack, <laughs> a multi pack, all different textures and nubbies, and mm. that would be a fun night. Those, Henry's eyes are popping out. Those, yeah. <laughs> These look like they. Uh, Clamp on there pretty tight. Yeah, but they're really stretchy. As they should. As really, they should. Really, really stretchy. As they should. And then we have the the Synergy Lube, <laughs> the hybrid <laughs> lubricant, and it touts itself as three times longer lasting. Have you tried this, Paige? That's good stuff. And they make that one, and they make one that has like a cool tingling mm. feature to it. Like a peppermint patty? That stuff sells like <laughs> hotcakes. I like it. And it's a, it's a good size bottle, too. You can tuck that away. In your nightstand and not look like a creep if somebody goes to I could shove this up my <laughs> vagina say, and be completely <laughs> satisfied. <laughs> yes, you could. Tuck this away yeah. in my vat. Who needs a man? Just grease yourself up and shove it up there. Yeah. Don't even open the it's bottle. It's a dual function product. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things we could do with that. <laughs> so, holy shit. So, twistedtoys.net with the Z at the end of toys. And they have some other crazy looking uh, (laughs) toys here. One of which is, looks like a set of brass knuckles with a dildo attached to the end of it. So (laughs) if you're going to fist punch somebody's... Ass or vagina, this might be the thing you need. Vagina punch. <laughs> I'm going to punch you in the vagina. I love. Uh, you know what I just saw? I saw This Is 40. Have you any, has anyone seen mm. that movie? Loved it. Love Paul Rudd. Oh, my God. He's so awesome. Oh, so cute. So funny. You guys should have him on the show. I would. He would be amazing. No, what, he's like a call away. <laughs> really. He's from a speed dump. <laughs> Better than need Steve Martin. <laughs> I love him, too. So Paul Rudd. There is a scene where Paul Rudd says to the chick from Bridesmaids, um, uh, what's her name? McCarthy. Jenny McCarthy's cousin. The fatter one. Yeah. What's her name? Um, oh, Melissa McCarthy. Melissa, 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 yeah. And he's like, I'm going to shove your iPad up your eye cunt. And I, <laughs> that's my new thing. She's an eye cunt. <laughs> so yeah, I would, yeah, shove this shit up my eye cunt. See that movie. Will do. <laughs> <laughs> She probably has a really big vagina. I would think. Who has a big vagina? Melissa McCarthy. I would think she has because large asshole. Because she's a heavy set woman. You think she has a big vagina? Do you think typing large women? No. Do heavy set women have big bigger vaginas? No, they just have fupas. So you have to lift shit to get there. That's what I'm thinking. I think the vagina is still normal vagina size, but there's an extra amount of. <laughs> or they might be smaller <laughs> due to less Lack usage. Of use. That's yeah. a great point. Right. Let's let's ask the men. Have you had to lift a fupa to get to the vag? Never. <laughs> I told you my... We answered that very quickly. (laughs) You're very proud. With pride. You told me the New Orleans story. I told that, and that was really my main interaction with a a large woman. But she was ass in the air. She was ass in the air, and it didn't didn't. go very well. So so. it hung and swung. Yeah, but he didn't... So if it was ass in the air, then you just went right... Like, there was no... There was no barrier. There was no barrier for me, and it still wouldn't work for me. Okay, Paige, he... Paige... Just to catch you up. Henry told a story about how he attempted to have a threesome two guys, one girl. It was with a hot chick. And then there was a grenade. Who <gasps> happened to be in the hotel room when we took her friend back to the hotel room. And she was there. And she was there with another guy who we scared out of the room. And he <laughs> ran out. And we were left with a fat girl and the oh one that we brought. God. So Henry tried be- to be nice. To the, to the fat girl, and he Such attempted, a gentleman. Such right? a gentleman. Aren't I? He ma- tried to attempt to enter her from behind, thinking, <laughs> I can do this. It's just a hole. Right. And it wasn't happening. Really? No. I, and I, I honestly did try my best. 
I gave it everything I had. But is there some sort of Boy Scout badge you got for that? Like, <laughs> I'm waiting for it. I still haven't received it, but I you should, sew that you know, shit on your you know, sash immediately. Exactly. I, I pat myself on the back just for the effort, but I wasn't able to complete I'm the sorry. act. I'm sorry. It's the obese vagina badge. It was. Well done, though, sir. You Thank tried. You. No, that's, that's and then the important. best part of the story was she fell asleep <laughs> in the position he left her, where she had ass in the air asleep <laughs> while he fucked her hot friend's mouth. Isn't that how? <laughs> Isn't that how cows fall asleep? <laughs> like, That's the, pretty much right. Pipe. Yeah, she was on all wow, fours. Could have tipped on her. all fours, just like a cow. Speaking of cows I don't and farm I, animals, and I couldn't have oh, tipped no. her. I don't think. I have breaking news. Uh-oh. As everybody knows, "Why You Suck in Bed" is the official podcast of the Carlos Romero donkey oh. rape. Not rape. Con- rape in quotes. Thank you. Alleged rape controversy donkey love is love (laughs) we are the only podcast following the carlos romero flight you will not get this anywhere else (laughs) okay i've been up i've been up at all hours trying to contact carlos romero doodle the donkey anyone as have i (laughs) Now, what I love about the fact that Paige is on is that we get to relive the story. Cause she has no, no idea what we're talking no. about. This is all fresh I'm material. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I feel wrong for being excited. I can't wait. To- wait no, first, hold on. don't feel. There's nothing Doodle? wrong with it. That's the whole point. Can, Do can not we, feel wrong. Can we rewind real quick? The donkey's name is Doodle? The donkey's name is Doodle. Oh, my God. That's amazing. I was just going to say, could it get any better? Doodle the donkey. Now, in preparation for the news story, I asked Henry the Ninth to pull up some pictures of Carlos Romero, the alleged rapist alleged. of and Doodle the Donkey. We're trying to get in touch with Yarimi Farinas, too, who did the interview. Yeah, there is oh a reporter God, who is... so good. She's been covering this plight of Carlos, <laughs> and we've been emailing her <laughs> because we want her on, we want Carlos on, we want someone on. And last... And ep- the, the problem the with contacting Carlos, as hard as we've tried, is that... Because of the way he has been attacked by the legal system, he has since lost his job Mm -hmm. and (laughs) had to pay fines to the court, which finds him now living in his truck, leaving us unable to contact him by mail. And where's Doodle in all this? By phone. Doodle Doodle has been taken into custody. Was taken into custody, is (laughs) at the Marion County facility for raped animals or something like that. oh boy wait till you see a picture of doodle but i i challenge you not to find doodle attractive doodle's very doodle's cute. very attractive That's <laughs> just as matt paxton from hoarders challenges you not to get a boner listening to our podcast <laughs> we challenge you not to look at doodle now get, Paige, get aroused if I'm i told waiting. you that a man had sex with a donkey <laughs> what would you think that man looked like you know, just what, you know, in your mind, Poor what would like, right? this Carlos Romero character, what would he look like? Well, as an avid watcher of shows like Dateline and such, I'm willing to bet he looks like a completely normal American. No, I mean, Usually it's, it's the ones that have the real deviant behavior that look completely normal. And I say deviant behavior, you know, in the nicest <laughs> way possible because I don't want to insult anybody. No, but. I, I mean, you know, some of us think it's not deviant behavior. Some of us do. But I would say he is even better looking than normal. Oh, God, you I'd got the picture ready. Okay, I have never man. seen him before. Now, I will, I will show you various pictures of Carlos. <laughs> we want your reaction. From different <laughs> angles. And you- Lay it on me, baby. You could tell me what you think of Carlos. All right, let's have it. See, I rest my case. He's a total normal looking guy, although that he does have a little bit of crazy eye going. <laughs> little, a little crazy eye. Wait, However, can I, can I say that again? He approaches you in a bar and buys you a drink. Attractive. He's got good teeth, right? <laughs> He's attractive. He has a respectable hairline. He nice, does have good teeth. Nice actually. jawline. Two separate eyebrows. Nice jawline. Considering he's a farmhand who works with animals, doesn't have a job. He still has a pretty nice haircut. He's got like a little like River Phoenix thing going Thank on. Exactly. You. Why is he banging donkeys? You ask. He could obviously get female tail. That is totally the question. He could be acting. <laughs> he could be acting. I mean, he could be doing he's a lot of things. He's an attractive man. He's a very he could be, he could be modeling fella. the gates of hell. 
<laughs> he could be this guy holding his stomach. He the gates of hell. I'm so glad you're going to tweet <laughs> and that. And if we could ever get in contact with him, we would let him know that there are opportunities out there for him to work. This is a man living in his truck because what? he fell in love. With that. With oh that. Oh, my God. Is, doodle. That's Isn't, Doodle. Doodle, what? you whore. <laughs> Doodle's cute. Doodle. Oh, how cute is Doodle? They are a very cute couple. Wait, is Doodle a f- male or female? A female. Okay, well. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Does that change your opinion? No, I it almost <laughs> did, and I caught myself, and I was like, oh, uh, that almost made it kind of okay. I'm going to oh, show Doodle's you a full really body cute. shot. I'll show you a full body shot of Doodle so you can you can see. The, the legs You'll alone. You'll see Doodle works out. Look at the legs. <laughs> Look at the legs on this thing. Oh, yeehaw. The stems on Doodle. <laughs> Look Doodle. at the legs. Go right up to that ass. Look at that perky little ass. Look at and that the ass. hooves. You like that ass? <laughs> Do you like that ass? Oh, Doodle. Oh, it's so mm, bad. Give me your ass. So you bad. Bad ass. Like, you have to ask, like, what, what has gone wrong in your dating life? Well, he, we know. He has explained it. Women yes. hurt you. Women lie to you. Women go for your wallet. Doodle does not do any of these things. Until he gets donkey punched to the nuts with a doodle's hind do- leg. That's okay. the whole thing, though. That's our position, now, is that he said position. if Doodle did not want the sexual advances of one Carlos Romero, Doodle surely would have been able to kick him away. Fight him off. Fight him off. It's a donkey. It's a donkey. So, now, it's a baby donkey, only 20 months old. It's not a baby. It's a miniature donkey. <laughs> well... It's a miniature. We did the math. <laughs> is there donkey years, like dog years? That's we, what I said. we did the math, and we decided that Doodle is not in donkey years considered to be a child. So it's not donkey pedophilia. Do- Doodle is past the year of consent, of consent for a donkey. So Doodle is legal. Yes. Doodle of is legal. Legal donkey right. age. I can't believe right. we're having this conversation. No, this, awesome. this goes on every week. Now, l- just to fill Paige in. Paige, we became aware of this because I always do like some, I do a whole segment of crazy news stories and this came up and somehow, you know, Carlos and Doodle, their love spoke to us (laughs) and Henry is ridiculously obsessed with this case. He wants to make t-shirts, free Carlos Romero. Oh, it's good. Oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles of Doodle (laughs) or something. And noodles. And noodles of Doodle. (laughs) Um, we are contacting the reporter. We're trying to get them to make comments on the air. Henry has a very clear position. You never hear someone raping a bear, an elephant, because you, they would be killed if they didn't want That's to That's a ridiculous sex. position to have. Right. Somebody raped a bear? Impossible. Well, Impossible. obviously, you guys, you guys have seen... I'm so sorry to cut you off, but no. you guys have seen the video of the alleged doctor who let a horse bang him from behind? Are you guys up on this? Well, we are very aware that people like... And the guy died. Horse cock. Well, can you can you I, us I've, through that a bit? What I've, was the story? Oh, yes. All right. Expand. I've heard of this. All right. Forgive me, because it's been a long time since yeah. I've seen this video, but it's really disturbing where uh, this yeah. guy has the whole thing set up. He has an assistant or a spotter or whatever the hell you want to call that guy. Guy. <laughs> and I like the spotter. horse, I like spotter. Spotter. Yeah. the horse enters him, and you think that's going to be it, and then the horse rears up and jams that whole human oh. arm-sized cock into this guy, and you could just think about what that does to his insides. And he doesn't die instantly, but he dies quickly afterwards. Oh my god! I believe I watched that video oh. on my first appearance on the Gory Hole. <laughs> and I remember <laughs> wanting to kill myself. But, yeah, uh, it's, it's really disturbing. Yeah. Now, now, is that horse in the same facility? Is Probably. Doodle, is there some sad... But again... There is an equine <laughs> psychologist <laughs> talking to them about the trauma. Again, in... <laughs> Doing electroshock treatment. Oh, in God. that scenario... Do they go on to be Budweiser, Clydesdales? Like, what, those are tours. <laughs> is there a way I can get those pills? Whoa. But again, both of them were obviously consenting. The horse, yes. The man, yes, even though he died. True. Both consenting. Oh, that horse made that guy beings. his bitch. Right. Both consenting beings mm-hmm. partook in a, a sexual act. Our position is that Doodle, <laughs> much in the same way, <laughs> was a consenting participant in the sex act with Carlos Romero. Oh, God, Doodle's so cute. That's and Doodle cute. is very, very attractive. <laughs> he really is. She, she really is. She. She's very cute. She really is cute. Really and furry. You don't. When you think of a donkey, you don't <laughs> think that the donkey would have that nice furry. Fur, they have right, furry she's head, like plushy. furry ears, plush, so soft. So Carlos actually oh, said God, you're that you're getting a boner, aren't you? <laughs> I've always had a boner. <laughs> 
Carlos is claiming that the attraction was very gradual, and then he found himself really having love for Doodle, and his quote was, what is it, I may... I may love my animals in different ways, but that doesn't mean I don't, I don't love, love my, my animals. animals. Now, he is, just so wow. you know, Carlos is petitioning the Florida court system, mm-hmm. saying that they are discriminating against his sexuality, that he is a zoo- zooophiliac, mm-hmm. and that uh, that's not constitutional. He's allowed to have sexual, you know, if he likes to have sex with animals. It was his ass. He owns that ass. <laughs> right. He so, can, he can oh fuck God. his own ass if I he wants to. I knew it was to. coming. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course you did. <laughs> oh, God. So, we have just, uh, this is all background. So, basically, the listeners know we have been providing them with updates of Carlos and what's going on with him. And, you know, like I said, we're, we're still trying to find an address where we can start a petition campaign to free Carlos Romero. Right. The sad part is it's gone so bad for Carlos that we can't contact him because he's so destitute at this point. He has no job. He, lo- he can't be around animals. Tell Carlos I will gladly send him an inflatable barn animal. Yes. Thank we can you get very those. Much. And then no one has to know about it. And there's one called <laughs> Shake a Little Ass. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to give us some That break- you can get from Amazon. Okay. Sorry. All right. <laughs> I wasn't there, but I'll go there. Amazon.com, our sponsor. Go to Riotcast.com. Click on the Why You Suck in Bed page, and we are there at the Amazon.com banner. If you buy your shit from Amazon through our link, we get a small percentage so we can pay for this podcast and keep it free for you guys. I fucking love Amazon. I love them. I love them. They have a great return policy. You can buy anything you fucking want on Amazon.com. You can probably, actually, I think you can. We established by inflatable barn animals. Shake right. a little less. <laughs> is available on Amazon. <laughs> That's right. Um, and you may be able to eventually buy the Carl Romero biography when it's written. Right. Because you know be it's going to be book. written by no, Henry I'm the Ninth. No, halfway Ninth. through it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon.com. All right. So here's my breaking news. There is a new development that I've uncovered on Carlos. Oh, my God. In looking for information about Carlos Romero, I found a article from j- the end of January um, of this year. Are we aware that Carlos was arrested for something other than banging a donkey? Oh, crap. I believe I was. Really? You didn't share that. Mm. This is all new to me. Lay it on me. <sighs> Carlos Romero, 32, was out on probation from fucking a donkey. Right. Well, he, f- before you get into this, just keep in mind, so <laughs> we keep a sympathetic ear, that Carlos has been fighting the man as a result okay. of his love for a donkey. And Psychologically been, damaged, Carlos Romero. Exactly. He was arrested for allegedly stealing 16 train batteries valued at $10,880 from the Florida Northern Railroad, according to Ocala.com. There's a joke in there somewhere. Police said that. (laughs) Police said that Romero admitted to taking four batteries and bringing them into a recycling company to sell for scrap. Recycling company officials told authorities that he was paid $161.46 for the batteries. A Romero, who has been arrested for unbestiality charges, pleaded guilty in December as a part of a plea deal and was sentenced to one year probate, probation and a $200 fine. Since his release, he's been living in his pickup truck in the woods and eating food from dumpsters that he Good stole Lord. and sold the batteries because he needed cash to pay for his truck's insurance. The poor guy is stuck in I his feel truck. really bad right now. His plea deal required him to give up his donkey, undergo psychosexual evaluation, Avoid any contact with children at school or playground, and avoid unsupervised contact with animals. He's not allowed to go near mammals, they said. That's why he can't be near children? It doesn't make sense. Just because they're mammals. Romero and his attorneys had... he can't go to (laughs) SeaWorld? Romero and his attorneys had initially rejected the plea deal, arguing that Florida's anti-bestiality law was in violation of the U.S. Constitution. He also waxed poetic about his preference for animals, explaining that critters do not seek other pleasures and their feelings are 100% honest as opposed to promiscuous humans who stab you in the back, give you diseases, and lie to you. Amen, brother. Look at how sad he looks. Can't argue with that. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. All right. I Doing think time has aged that taking a toll on him. We need to drive down his hairline go? to Acala, mm-hmm. Florida, and save this fucker. Give me that do donkey cock. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Kill me. That's the Carlos Romero update. I'm sorry. It's so sad. Yeesh. 
We're all kind of like <laughs> sad now. But he's kind of smart. Who would think to steal train batteries? He's crafty. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't think that. Anyone? No. No. No, I would not. No, I would not. <laughs> I can't, there's batteries. a joke in there somewhere. I clearly have not drank enough yet. <laughs> all right. So there you go. I don't know what the topic of today's show should be. I'm kind of sad about Carlos. It that really is be. sad. I'm kind of sad. You feel bad for the guy. You feel bad for Doodle. <laughs> Like, do you think Doodle is like parties involved? Do you think Doodle is mourning the loss of Carlos? Do you think Doodle is presenting himself to people as they pass by, (laughs) wondering where Carlos's cock is? Probably. I mean, the (laughs) sad part is that Doodle's been put into the system now, and and he's just going to grow up. A whole life of bad choices. As a donkey horn, she's just going to give up her ass to anyone. Exactly. Exactly. Everybody's going to be after that ass. Turning tricks. She's a really hot ass. Oh, my God. She's going <laughs> to join the circus. <laughs> wow. Doodle. I feel like we should just end the show right now. <laughs> All right. I'm really depressed. With a moment of silence. <laughs> All right. So Mad Men is starting this week. Yes. Does anyone here watch Mad Men? Because I do. I'm not caught up, but yes, I do. I do, yes. So we all know who John Hamm is? Oh, yes, we do. Do we all? Are we all aware of the ham between his legs? Is this public <laughs> information? Oh, it's, it's very public. Oh, it's very public. my God. Really? When, I, when we're finished taping, I'm going to show you a picture. There was a picture released recently of John Hamm walking down the street with his wife, who I think he, he totally married down, by the way. I don't understand what he's doing. <laughs> what is he doing? Did he marry her before like he... Yes. Before he had a huge he had penis? Fame. No. <laughs> no. The answer is no. Maybe she's a total freaking Gosh. bed. You don't know. She's very well, cute, but cute. Talks. She is an independent film actress, and I've seen her movies, and she's Does very she's good. in porn? No. Usually that's an independent film I know. Actress. Well, she's legit independent that's film. That's the euphemism. Does she know Doodle? She might. She might have known Doodle, Are and that's friends. probably why the only cock that can satisfy her. Oh, no, Doodle's a girl. Doodle doesn't have a cock. <laughs> cock. But she does. Back. My seven and a half inch cock is coming out. But I think out. John <laughs> Hamm could probably take care of Doodle. I'll tell you that. John Hamm could take care of an elephant. Like... So Maybe. anyway, there was a picture released of him walking hands in hand with his wife down the street. I think he was wearing like what linen pants. I would believe so. His cock outline. Only a man with a huge cock can pull off linen pants. This this one. Love linen. <laughs> well played, sir. Henry, well the, played. Henry the Ninth announces every year when the <laughs> when the linen, linen comes out. I'm not joking. He texts me and says the linen has come out of the closet. When is the debut? I'm nodding in approval. When is the debut of this year? It's not a static day. I mean, it depends on the weather. You know, eventually I get the feeling that all of the other clothing has to go away and all of the linen has to come out. It's usually like it. So it's it's oftentimes around in the May month, the month of May. Generally, yes. Yeah. So then you appreciate the effect of linen on the penis. I do. I like the whooshing and, (laughs) and the freedom it gives me. Yes. Yeah. Has a woman ever stopped you in the street and said, holy shit, the outline of your penis is enormous? They haven't stopped me. They they walk beside me and grab my hand and tend to guide me somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> they don't let you get away. No. The linen is magical. It is. Yeah. So basically, John Hamm's linen pants outlined this uh, serpent of a cock. I mean, it was so impressive that I... I took the picture off of, I believe it was usmagazine.com or whatever, and I showed it to I, all my girlfriends, and we were drooling over that penis. Yeah, I'm looking it up right, right now. It right here. This isn't going to be yours, is it? Look closely. No, that's mine. No, it's his. <laughs> Do not take credit for John Hamm's penis. No, Sweet no, Jesus, no. look at that monster. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Look at him walking so oh. like, yeah, he's like, like, whatever, that's yeah. my penis, Secure get over it. his manhood. <laughs> yeah, like you're not looking at my dick right now. That is an entire season of Mad Men in his pants. Exactly. <laughs> it's a mad man. So mad mound. A <laughs> mad mound of manliness. It's incredible. So all right, so when you're wearing the linen pants, <laughs> what are you are you wearing an undergarment? Ordinarily no. I say it like you're a Mormon. Ordinarily no, because generally <laughs> are you <wearing> magic underwear? <laughs> are you, I'm sorry, please continue. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> ordinarily no, because it defeats the purpose of the linen, which is to Understood. breathe and to be free. I had and, no idea. Oh, linen. Linen. Wow. linen. Oh. Freedom isn't free. Take it in the mouth. That's right. <laughs> so true. Drop to your knees and take it. <laughs> I feel like I America. learned something here today. This is great. But He's as a-, a result of John Hamm's penis, the man with the largest recorded penis, uh, I guess currently, I don't know if it's in history, but currently, this it's guy named Jonah, uh, who 
purportedly has a 13.5 inch penis uh, issued five. some advice for John Hamm because oh. he seems to be causing quite a stir with uh, you know his Johnson swinging around or whatever. So this is what Jonah had to say. Jonah, this is in uh, the Huffington Post. Jonah, 42, has a 13.5 inch penis, which reportedly recognized as the world's largest it's people a joke national around, treasure <laughs> but there are actually Sonia. some serious issues that go along with having a male part that large for example it was confused with a weapon when he was frisked <laughs> at the airport <laughs> john ham was recently in the news for underwear on the that he had to wear underwear on the Mad Men set because the bulge was too distracting. Jonah, the man with the largest penis, shared some advice for the Mad Men star. I'm willing to bet his problem is his balls. <laughs> Jonah told Huffington Post. Balls cause the most bulges. His penis is not going down his pant leg like mine. I prefer constriction myself. As you get older, your balls drop and need support. If it's his penis that's causing the problem, he can point it up like the European men. He suggested John just nod and chuckle at the comments, but not answer any more questions. For some things in life, there are no words. Ladies and gentlemen, John Hamm's new PR assistant... <laughs> <laughs> Let me suck that dick. It is not his balls. It's not his balls. Come on, no, now. that is not clearly his not his balls. Clearly, they, picture. clearly. No. they should have shown this guy the picture because nobody looking at that picture would say it's his balls. And let's say it's his balls shoved in like an empty toilet paper tube, that's <laughs> <laughs> which could happen. And John, you can see his balls too. I mean, his balls are behind it. There is, there is legit press that the Mad Men director and producer are like you gotta cover that shit up you gotta cover it up dude because when we're taping everyone's staring at your thunder yeah, yeah your cock so John Hammond now everybody's like throwing him um, offers to be an underwear you know spokesperson I recently got a copy of Rolling Stone magazine where the title is John Ham Exposed. Like everyone's playing off the cock. Where were these people when David Bowie was filming Labyrinth and doing those scenes in those spandex pants? You can see every wrinkle of his junk. Thank you. In the eighties, all the children to see. <laughs> Thank you, Paige, because in the eighties we knew everyone's cock size. Exactly. Everyone's walking and around. Was taboo. And how about in Spinal Tap with the cucumber wrapped in foil? I am going to make the claim that John Hamm does not have a cucumber wrapped in foil, that that is a legit no. cock. It looks quite natural from the pictures. He's, he's pulling it off well. I'd like to see him in some spandex. And I have to say, you know, recently I was doing um, some yoga. So I popped in a yoga DVD, and there is a Japanese man that I happen to like named Rodney Yi. And he has a series of yoga DVDs, and he likes to wear spandex shorts. Interesting. And I could not get in the zone of my yoga training because his penis was the size of an, a nut, like a little tiny... <laughs> Cashew. Oh, I thought you were going to Cashew. defy no. the stereotype. It was us, but you're not. so little. Oh, she's going the whole but other direction. Not. And I'm like, why would you wear those shorts? I can't focus. All I think about is how do you satisfy women? What is what's going on with you? Why would you put spandex shorts on? Right. What's your your your? <laughs> you've now recorded yourself in these compromising positions with that little acorn penis. He lost the <sighs> bet. Your baby carrot is very zen. It's bad. It's <laughs> downward bad. facing dog. <laughs> what do you do when you have a penis that's the size of an acorn? You don't wear spandex. That's mm. for starters. I mean, do or you apologize pants. to women before you have sex with them? Well, he's Asian, so already, <laughs> I mean, it's that's the apology. I know. It's run of the mill penis. Have you ever had someone that's so tiny that it's almost like I just need to yes, go home? No, what? what? <laughs> I think she, she was talking to Paige. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? Yes. Were you just like, why bother? Have you tried to make it work? I'd like to think of myself as a you forgiving know. person. Mm -hmm. You know, in that kind of a situation where my brain is screaming, just run and save yourself the trouble. Right. I let it play its course. Your penis sucks. That's yeah. how you handle it. <laughs> exactly. I just walk away. It's almost, it's almost like... He, he, <sighs> how small was it that you decided I, I might have to run out? Three inches. Okay. Hard. Hard. Like three inches. And because the person was a friend, you just kind of yeah. was it let it happen. It was TP, wasn't it? No, he's on like my <laughs> microphone. Oh, no. I just wanted you to rumor? be weird. I wanted it to be weird. I'm sorry. TP doesn't wear linen pants. <laughs> 
He can't. Because he doesn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. I'd be arrested like Carlos and not be allowed around children if I wore linen. Okay? Thank you. Paige knows this. That's right. All right. So, wow. So you felt you had to. And that, not only this is on more than one occasion. This, but you had to, like, once you saw it, you're like, oh, God, I can't leave. And I also i am going to have to commit to acting out. Yeah, you know what? I, for I, I, exactly, a while. exactly. Because I, I didn't have the heart to just be like, "What are you doing? And what are you trying to do it to me with?" It, it was a friend, you know. And mm. it's just, and <laughs> it's always the guys with the smallest penis that are always the most like vocal, like, mm. "Oh yeah, oh, God. Oh, take it!" And it's like, oh. "Take it, t- take what, it." What I, I, take I don't it? even what, feel it. Where do you want me Is to take it, it to? Do you want me to put it in my salad? What do you want <laughs> me to take it to? Take what? Cocktail weenies. I love you. I'll never see you again. That was a long time ago. <laughs> ah! I told a story on the show that I had a guy and I couldn't even I couldn't even feel it when it's inside me. Mm. I was like, oh my god, exactly. And he looked like Johnny Depp, and I'm like, this oh. is a fucking sin. Like you did something really bad in a former life that you are this hot and have the. It's better to be penis. ugly at that point, right? And you can see, you know, you could say it's because I'm ugly, right? <laughs> it know, was. That's it the was problem. So she doesn't, you know, she's not getting off because I'm ugly. Yeah. Oh. It was so bad. Like I cringe when I think about it. But what did you do? Did you let the whole thing play out? And you just I faked orgasm and- every time. See, that's what we do. We <laughs> people. We I faked it, and we're like the sisters of mercy for I, men with Well, small yeah, I'm trying to decide if that makes you we good or start, bad. Could we do a nonprofit organization? <laughs> Does that make you good? <laughs> we're tax exempt. Could we travel the world? Does that make you we better or worse, town, people? Baby. <laughs> Are you better or worse? We have 10K runs <laughs> for men with small penises. <laughs> we'll sell cookies. Do you we think, will. We'll do you think that sale. you both pulled it off? Do you think uh, that, uh, they, that they left I, I, like, listen, oh, man, I did it. You know, I pulled it off I could win an Academy fucking yeah. award. I swear to God. Me too. Definitely. I believe you. My entire marriage was based on faked orgasm. Okay. No, see, you deserve all sorts of awards. <laughs> oh, ah. Some sort of Pulitzer Prize. It's, what, like what, is, you, what is the key to a fake orgasm? Kegels. To make it, to, se- to sell it. Kegels. Add a girl. Absolutely. Fake no, squeezing? It's, it, it's a lot of fake squeezing and a lot of... <laughs> You know, vocally, you know, oh, vocally, absolutely. you got to really you know, hair tossing. And no, but I'm thinking, um, does it have to be, do you have to think a lot about it? Like some women, you know, most women <laughs> focusing have, on a clock counting down, have yeah. a position Making where a they list climax more easily. Mm-hmm. So do you say I, I have to climax in the same position every time or fake climax in the same position every time or else I'm going to be inconsistent and he, you know, he might catch on. Um, no, I've never taken it that far because I think basically you know when you're not going to come. Right. And you know when you're going to be. As soon as it comes out of the pants, yeah, you're like, you know. Yeah, this is going to be one of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a fugly one. And then you reach a limit where you're like, I'm exhausted. This has to end. So I don't think it matters what position. It's more just like. How am I going to do it so he believes me? So I thought that might be a part of it. There needs to be thrusting, Kegel, right? Kegel. Sometimes I'll grab my own tits. Uh, oh, that's great. Yeah. Because I feel like, oh, I'm so turned on. I'm going to like explode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you know so what I mean? turned on? I can't control my hands. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah. I'm spazzing out. It's so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Why am I grabbing my elbow? And then I lose all respect for the guy when he believes I me. I shit on myself. You know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I'm, yeah. It is, and that's a sad part, because you think you're doing the right thing <laughs> by faking it, and then at the end of the day... It doesn't It doesn't help anything. It doesn't. It makes everything It horrible. doesn't. And then if you're friends with a person, oh, oh it just ruins everything. So it ruins in, everything. in retrospect, now that you both have had this experience, looking backward, should you not have done that? Do you regret doing no, it? No, because no. Because I wanted to, it to be over as soon as humanly possible. <laughs> but did, so you so say my you did approach, it on more than one occasion? Well, yes. no, it's different people oh, with small penises. Oh. I've done it on more than one occasion with numerous, with the same person. That's she what was I mean. married to a guy. Yeah, come on now. Oh, man. I, uh, I was like basically... State mandated but that's not to the fake Johnny orgasm. Depp guy. No. <laughs> right. So you so you were with a dude where you faked it multiple times. Yes. Yes. The long con. You conned him over. Over and over. Minutes. The long and over. con. Over. And then actually one guy <laughs> confronted me and said, I know you fake it every time I'm with you. And oh, I what'd said, you do? What are you talking about? <laughs> fake what? We never <laughs> I t- made him feel crazy. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> Why would I have to fake anything? Asshole. 
You're what, a dick. Oh, are you insecure? Why would I have to fake anything? What? See, my approach <laughs> when I was in that situation, and it happened two or three times in my younger days, where the objective is to just get it over with as soon as humanly possible. So it's just now it boils down to getting him off. Right. Oh, so yeah. you got to make him believe mm-hmm. that you're really enjoying it. You got to fake sell, that sell, motherfucker. Sell. You got to sell that shit. That's, That's right. right. Always be closing. Because there's some men who can't get off unless they unless know that you got exactly. off. Exactly. And, and those men are. God are, bless them. Like, good for them. I was going to. Wait, 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 wait. Don't you. Say anything bad about no. That. I was just gonna say that's very noble, very noble. But when you're like, this sucks. You want them to be the selfish lover, like just fuck, just fucking, just calm. do it. Right. Seriously, like, why do you? I don't care where. Just do it. Yeah. I'll clean it off later. Come just on. make it happen. Yeah, come on, give me pink eye. Come in my eye. <laughs> give a shit i'll get antibiotics just make this i'll bring this to the dry cleaner tomorrow i don't give a fuck just make that happen it'll be faster for me to take the antibiotics than this come on (laughs) but then the after effects are horrible it's because then what happens is you play mind games on yourself because the next time you're with that guy you're like i'm gonna have to fake it again and then you don't even let there be a next time well that's what i'm saying you don't even give your chance you don't even give yourself the chance to get into it. So I'm saying... Because you're in fake looking, mode. Looking backward now, what would you do instead? I'm really focused on not shitting myself right now. <laughs> Just say something like that? <laughs> yes. I honestly... There are times where I feel like the faking was easier than the dealing with the... What's wrong? Why couldn't you come? Is it my cock? <laughs> Are you? Are, is something wrong with you? Do you have a problem? Yeah. Like, what's wrong with you? Did you have a bad you day? Suck. Yeah, like, does this happen with other men? Is it me? What do you want? And it's like you just... And then you're stuck there, and what you really want to say is your cock sucks. Exactly. But you can say it, so... Yeah, yeah I'd so rather you fake, fake it. it. <laughs> I'd rather fake so it. So you wouldn't change a thing? No. no. <laughs> Very good. Because they interrogate you. Exactly. It's not worth the interrogation. <laughs> Were you frigid? <laughs> no, I come with everyone else but you. Like, what... <laughs> What do they want? Frigid. <laughs> Are you frigid? Well, this was back in the 20s frigid. when you were fucking guys. Do you have consumption? <laughs> do you want to go to a speakeasy with me? Do you have a hysterical <laughs> uterus? You want to do the 22 skidoo? Let's make some whoopee. <laughs> All right. I just got back from fighting the Kaiser. Come on. <laughs> My gal Friday can't come. <laughs> <laughs> I snorted. All bets are off. I snorted. <laughs> all right. Oh god, I love you guys. So no, I would not change a fucking thing. <laughs> no, How not dare at you all. imply I would? All right. Um. I. I yeah. All right, no learning. We don't learn a thing. <laughs> the thing men are like if women would just tell me i would change my but it comes it's a crock of shit <laughs> sometimes it's like no your ego gets bruised oh, exactly. and then you don't want to fuck me anymore and that's what happened with my ex-husband but I isn't would, that what you wanted no like my ex-husband i would be like huh you gotta do and he'd be like bleh, 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 bleh. and then he'd get all pissy and then it would be like he didn't want to fuck me that. for weeks because he was like you don't even like the way i fuck you and i'm like <laughs> But you didn't. Were you fucking Cartman? But Jesus you Christ. didn't. But I wanted him to shit. Ch- wa- I married Cartman. You did? I did. He was like two circles. So I was like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, no, I don't... No, I want you to fuck me, but fuck me this way. <laughs> right. And then I'm like, just go hang out with Kenny. I'm done. So, yeah. You're an asshole. Go eat some cheesy poops. Go eat cheesy You're poops. Dicks. So it's like this vicious cycle. So then when he finally did fuck me, he, Thank would, you for, okay. he would stop in the middle and be like, you're not even enjoying this, are you? <laughs> and I'm like, no, I am. And then he'd be like, <laughs> oh, no, that's you're convincing. not. You're no, convincing. No, no, I am. Like, and then you're all fuck in each other's fucking minds, and it's like a mind fuck. Yeah, and you it's might like as well stop at that Very point. vicious. And then exactly. you file divorce papers. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> in, in my experience, when I had the small penis. <laughs> penis is, penis <laughs> is, right? Peni. Peni. It was. It wasn't somebody I was in a relationship with. Thank God. God bless you for Ugh. handling that situation. Awful. It was always the coming up with an excuse for not wanting to see that person again, <laughs> 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 which is never easy. Uh, oh, I've I'm got just, typhoid. Mary. I'm really busy. <laughs> I've got a big <laughs> consumption. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot hair. to do. 
your penis is small, therefore I am grocery shopping every yes. day. Washing my hair. Washing my hair. All the time. But would, wouldn't you have Canning been better fruit. off not faking it? No. And maybe they'd be less no. likely no, to call No, no, not at all. And... and <laughs> Trust us, Andy. Uh, we just, know. To reiterate the statements made before, it's just so much easier just to let them live the lie and just <laughs> let them think they're good. I I'm sorry, it. men. Because this is the truth. Somewhere there's a woman with a very shallow vagina. <laughs> That's true. That will be very pleased by his penis. That's true. And I don't want to ruin that for him. No. I want him to think that yeah. he's a very talented lover. Right. You're a good, you're a good person. Like I, I'm I a philanthropist. Well, that's why we're starting our nonprofit. We are very, <laughs> we are good people. Vaginas across America. We are good, good people. <laughs> Come to our bake sale next Saturday. <laughs> okay. Why don't we... I don't even know what we're doing. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, is there a topic? <laughs> I was thinking that, uh, based on what you said, instead of all of this fluff on dating sites, fluff. maybe... People should Doodle be is fluffy. paired yeah, so fluffy. by, oh, what am I going to say? Genital size? Exactly right. <laughs> Submit to circumference. Are you saying that or, small vag that's right. and small smallvag.com <laughs> and smallcock.net <laughs> should merge? <laughs> They're like yeah. me. They can only get the dot .net. Dot .com is not available. They should meet and, each or other. Dot I've done the research. Dot .org. Yeah. .co. Smallcock.co. Cock.co. Really? Oh. Well, A. Tell me why that's not a good idea. Would men admit they have small penis? If it means. And how does a woman know she has a small vagina? Because we, it's very easy. The standards right now. Well, if a woman with a small vagina constantly is getting bottomed out by guys with normal to large size penises, she's having painful sex. Right. And now you know what? Despite the conversation that's been going. What is that? That's spelunking. <laughs> spelunking. That's a spelunking sound. I have been with a man with a less than average size penis that was very enjoyable. Okay. Because it's, it was girthy. And what was it, it wasn't even the girth. It was the curve. Okay. Oh, you know? Here we go. So, okay. Yes. So let's <laughs> let's let's see the As other side of the of coin. Fact, okay. It I'm was a specialist in he in is. the curve yes. penis curvature. Okay. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. It was a, I'd say it's below average in the length and girth. Normal, not overly girthy, okay. but the curve. Which way did it curve? The, it curved up. Upward. Exactly. Okay. Now, before we go any further. <laughs> yeah, this one is like very into his curvature. <laughs> ah, curve is good. What? <laughs> she knows. Was his <laughs> nationality or race? Um. Don't just say white. Tell me no, where. No, no. Um, I want to say. No, no, no. I want to say Italian. Really? Yeah. 100%. I, I don't know. I didn't spend enough time with Henry him. Henry has a, a theory that curvature is based on ethnicity. Oh, really? The Johnimal yeah. has a theory that curvature is based on what hand you jerk off. No, 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 no. The jerk not, off. No, 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 no. Hold on. We're, we're, we're blending things that aren't aren't connected. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there are two things that are totally different. One is the tilt. Like it'll point in one direction or the other. Okay. Okay. Uh, right, left. You know, depending on my theory is if you sleep on your stomach mm-hmm. uh, as a guy growing up, especially through puberty, if you sleep on your stomach, your formative you, years, you are fucking the mattress in the middle of the night. Interesting. And banging a left or right <gasps> point <laughs> to your dick. Okay. Okay. However, national origin relates to the curvature of the penis. So, like, I have friends who are from South America. Mm hmm. They tend to have the ones that bend downward, point down. Really? Down. See, I've never seen that. Okay. Have you been with South American men? No. There we go. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I have, but his penis... <laughs> yes. But his penis, that who should not be <laughs> named. But his penis does not bend downward. Who is this? <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, that guy. <laughs> no. So it he just, is a South American man? He's Peruvian. Peruvian. <laughs> Have you just come here for the first time? <laughs> Does it have any curvature? No. Not pointing. Curvature. No. Okay. So it doesn't disprove anything. He was 22, so it was naturally up a little because you start off up and then you meet. No, 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 no. Oh, see, that's I'm a not theory. Talk- I'm, I'm not talking. No, 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 no. You're, you're screwing up my, okay. my, my theory okay. here. I'm talking about fully erect, ready to go, but still bends downward. No. B- bends, no. curves. No. Wow. No. Okay. He was not circumcised. I don't know if that makes a difference. I don't know. Maybe a camouflage or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I could write a whole episode on that. I date underage boys. But yes. 
It, it didn't curve in any other direction. No, it was, it was pretty okay. straight as an arrow. Okay, so if anything, I think it curves downward. But I haven't been disproved. It didn't go Maybe up. Peruvians Surely are the exception. Go, maybe it's a little closer to the equator. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they did harbor a lot of Nazis during the 70s. Okay, but sorry like to cut. Like the Tropic of Cancer <laughs> sorry like to cut you affects off. the curvature maybe of the Maybe there was penis. some experimenting going on by Mengele. Who knows? <laughs> Wow, this I'm is, loving this theory though. This, this is, is super awesome. Deep. It's the Coriolis effect. Like you know, you know, the toilet flushes you know, one so, way in. So you think and, because of yeah. said person with the less than average size penis with the curvature, ninety nine point nine percent sure he was Italian. It's based on his ethnicity. I think the curvature has something to do with the ethnicity. That's fascinating. Right? And the boot. Is that why I like Italian guys so much? Well, that's the thing. A lot of ladies like the Italians, and I. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I have a, a, a slight <laughs> upward. Curvature. You have an upward curvature, and you are so fucking Aryan. That's right. <laughs> Interesting. Well, we're pretty much brother sister yeah. in our Aryanness. Look if I had that. a cock, it would be hitting the ceiling. <laughs> So <laughs> you look like the letter K. Yeah. So you're saying it curves up because you are Northern European. I I'll go a little deeper in my theory. I think that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we are descendants of Hitler. People who who moved to colder climates throughout evolution tended to do less jungle doggy style fucking and more missionary style on top of one another fucking so the curvature went up as opposed to the people who were in the warmer climates fucking in the jungle where it dipped down because of the body heat issue exactly wow that's amazing that just blew my mind I never saw that National Geographic no I, I didn't write it yet you need now, to write your thesis he's, he's busy with the uh, Carlos <laughs> what about Carlos. the people that are in to do yeah what about people busy. that are in climates um, with seasons there aren't extremes I would tend to think that most of them would be straight because there's no need to be extreme in one way or the other. They hmm. don't need to generally bang outdoors all the time. <laughs> or I do think, they change with the seasons? Out. Might change with the seasons. Exactly. And then therefore even out. Huh. Change with the seasons. Cock huh. changes with the seasons. Now, I find this very fascinating. This is why I really, I really think do. you need to do some field research. I will. You need to go out there and collect data. Tell people. Collect cocks. i got to start, gotta start <laughs> talking about dudes. Collect cock pics. Well, that's kind of what I... Go around right. with Bruno and have them pull Can down their Can you start with John Hamm? Yeah. That's kind of, Please. It's a good, good place to start. <laughs> but I, that's what kind of why I rely on you ladies to go through your Rolodex of prior experiences and try to pair up. Let me see. Where no, this guy was it, from, how it was a curve. Literally, I've been doing that since you, you right. laid this on me because that's... <laughs> I, I've seen. She, I do have one guy she's that at did. Age twenty three. I, I have a guy that. <laughs> I have a guy that pointed up. Okay. He was extremely satisfying. Mm -hmm. Not huge, mm -hmm. like you said. And he was a Jewish man. Oh. Okay. And I always say that the, <laughs> the music of Parkley stopped. Wow. I gotta get to my Jew sound effects. I was, That's terrible. I thought you were going. He's still sexy. That's <laughs> sexy music. He was still <laughs> sexy, but. I'm going if I have a Nagila. Okay, that's fine. Right. He he was a Jewish... He is a Jewish he probably man. He's not what? dead. He He's not dead. You my vagina did not kill him. Okay. <laughs> but his penis curved up. Okay. And it was a dirty Jew. Extremely satisfying. I'm really into the Jews. I am into the Jews. But Jews are difficult because but they are a... <laughs> it was a thick penis that curved up. They're wandering people, Jews. though. <laughs> <laughs> there are wanderers. There are wanderers. With the people. oil and the lamps. Right. Right. The so it's mirror. tough to nail them down. In general, though, they seem to do okay. They seem to oh, be wait, packing the, the fatties. I think the Jews are super hung. I think part of the reason that they are hung. <laughs> and they make bread on their back as well. And that's part of why <laughs> they've been excluded so much from the other societies. A bit of jealousy mm -hmm. and a bit of them saying, I'm not going to share yep. this fat penis gene with the rest of the, the world's the population. How do, you yes. exactly, how do you explain the that's why they are the, the chosen Jewish people. Excuse the pyramids? Me? How do you explain the pyramids and the Jews' penis? I don't know if I That was like a run-on on sentence right there. <laughs> like the pyramids, period. Like you should have put a period the Jews, in there. The Jews built the pyramids. <laughs> the Jews built no, the pyramids? No, that's... that's they? they were forced to build that's the pyramids. Contested. No, that's contested. That's, that's, that's a contested theory. I don't think that's true. I There's think, a theory that aliens did it. I think, that they I, think the, I think the latest theory is that... The, the Gentiles they weren't, built the pyramids. They weren't slaves and that they were skilled laborers. And that's well. that's the only way that they could come up with something, you know, where the, sm the stone is so smooth mm. and fits so tightly because they were skilled laborers. Can we go I back to penises? I have a good theory. I was wondering if that had anything to do with penis. There was a time in our evolution where giants existed. This yes. has been established. And there is with, a theory with that... With 
giant penises? <laughs> yeah. God, I hope so. Everything was proportionate. I hope so. And the giants built the pyramids. Okay. Okay. That's what I've recently read. Okay. That doesn't sound like it makes any sense, but... There were giants that walked this earth. If you okay. look in our evolutionary history, it's, it's dinosaurs, giants. They're all there. No, I've heard of dinosaurs. Unicorns. you never heard of giants? I've heard of Andre the Giant. Sox. No! They were... David Bowie. <laughs> David Bowie. <laughs> all right. All right. Fine. You saw you saying David Bowie built the pyramids? <laughs> He was wearing spandex at the time. Of yeah. course it was. <laughs> Not linen. <laughs> Not linen. He should have, though, because I linen, it was David a very hot Bowie, climate in Egypt. David Bowie wears plenty of linen, I'm sure. <laughs> you think Amon appreciates that? Is she fucking better? What happened to her? I think she got old. She jumped the shark? What Can happened? Can talk about Roger Ebert and how sad I am? In a second. Oh. I, I, he died. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so much sad <laughs> news. So reference to so much sad on news. The show, by the way. Poor Ebert. You invited me here on false pretenses. I thought we were going to finish my theory. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's have it. Character. Come on, bring it. Bring no, it well, I wanted to hear the rest of you. You said you were going through your Rolodex of penises. Yeah. And we're thinking about curvature. Right. And, I, and I give you my Jew. Jew. The but Eastern Europeans had no curvature, but very big. Right. They're very big. Right. Right. Very big. right. Strong. <laughs> big as fists. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> but Paige, what about you? I mean, you're you're pretty much a sex expert with your with your toys Twisted and whatnot. Toys dot. I had a fair amount of dick. Net. <laughs> oh, that's a good part there. Now, what do you think of my that's theory? opening our next album? By the way, <laughs> what do you think of my theory? No, I think you're. I find your theory so fascinating Thank because you. as we were speaking about this, I started thinking about the different men that I've been with, and yes, based on ethnicity, there's been some similarities there. Yeah. Tell me about them. Oh, we'll be here all night. I've been waiting. Watch yourself. I knew it was coming. <laughs> well, you did just say I have had a lot of dick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you did offer that. I had to follow. Well, up. I am of a uh, mature age, so it's a bound to happen. No, but but like uh, I've I've dated a fair amount of Italian guys, and they all have the same. I, I'm making a yeah, you're making, gesture you're making, like you know what I mean. A fist. <laughs> fist punch, but like straight on, Strong. you know. Yes. Except for that one guy. Okay. So he couldn't have been 100% Italian. Because right. you're saying the ones that had the curvature, you're thinking are... From curve generally up, curve up. slightly colder climates or mm. further away from the equator. Like Slavic? Or? Uh, I'd need to look at a map, but tell me, tell me more about the ones that you're thinking about. You're saying the Ita- ones that, the ones that I have, have been Italian have right, been see, close to the same. Where I'm from, there's a very strong French Canadian population. Okay. And the French Canadian gentlemen that I have had sex with mm-hmm. all had a curve down interesting so but his genealogy would take him back to france true right so mm. wouldn't that that probably would be close enough to the equator to go down and i imagine the french do a lot of it's mainly they're not doing a lot of missionary it's a lot of doggy style crazy shit oh, the french are great the french are great god bless them so that i think i would you know that would sync with my theory in terms of dipping downward mm. what else you got I, i'd have to i'd have to like actually write these down i, I think next time I Please. see you guys. Can we do I'll, a flow a, chart? Can I we do we, like... I think there's like a pie chart that I can make there's out of this. A, there needs to be some graphing happening. Absolutely. I'm really going to think about this. Like, I, I find this genuinely interesting. This is actually really this, cool. No, yeah. seriously. If we can get a good sample size, I think we can actually find some significant correlations here. I think so. And especially if we had some nice. audience Nobel participation. Prize in our future. A Nobel Prize. <laughs> a Nobel Peace Prize. Oh. oh nice. You know what's interesting is like, all right, so a Filipino gentleman okay. that I was with right now warm climate right straight on straight on okay that doesn't indicate much though no you don't think so well no i don't know because it's straight i mean all right next time i come on i'm bringing the pie chart and we'll discuss <laughs> okay <laughs> what, what, i'll have a the thing uh, what, laser it, pointer was it long enough slides. To, was it long enough to curve in one way or the other it could have absolutely okay. it was definitely it average or above to, our, yeah totally okay. hmm I'm really wow, thinking about this, this really now. It's very intriguing. I, I think we're going to need audience participation for this. In some well, sort I've of asked survey. the audience before, and they've sent some cockpicks, but you can't tell from a picture. Right. They just need to say straight on. Like, it's, this is exactly how yeah, my, this is this my is curve, pe- up, like, curve down, right. curve to the side. Right. And just this is my national origin. National origin. Oh, and this is great story. Curvature. Not which way it points. Can we okay? get funding curvature. for this? We probably can write a grant. I would think we can I think we need to apply for a grant. Better, better than the pictures women should write in of all the men they've been with. That's true. That's a good one. That yes. gives us a lot more information. Ladies, yes. write in. Tell us. Uh, ethnicity and f- curvature, we're going to call it. Right. Uh, men, write in your ethnicity and your curvature. We're going to collect data. Um, you could send that to whyyousuckinbed at gmail.com. Right. And we will be happy to review the statistics <laughs> and get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to run some, some stats on that shit, and we'll come up with something. Because I Pie think this is, this is really going to help the world. It really is. I mean, you know, 
We could change the uh, we could well, change I, the way penis we, sizes. We are. can literally put. <laughs> I, I think more, it would help <laughs> women a lot because when you go, I mean, well, we were saying in the some of the ladies were saying in the past that they when they go up to a guy, they really have no idea what's going on in the pants. We could change <laughs> tourism. Yes. <laughs> Not only that, Paige, <laughs> Eastern European men have the women longest women curviest penises. penises. <laughs> Let's think about the downside of this: the poor men who have the lame cock. <laughs> No tourism. And the winning personalities. Yeah. No tourism. <laughs> they're, they, they'll start, like, bleaching their hair, <laughs> changing their look. They don't want women to know they're real. We're sorry, thing. Greenland. It's going to be like sorry. it's going to be like Nazism all over again. That's a good point. <laughs> Think about that. That's a good point. We might start a war or... Right. All right. We, we better put this one to rest. The naturally selected penis. Right. I don't know, guys. This could be opening Pandora's box. Do it. <laughs> we push boundaries with Doodle. Like with, push them with this. We're going to free Carlos. <laughs> we're going to free Carlos. <laughs> Three penis as well. <laughs> and we are going to get to the bottom of this penis thing. <laughs> we need to know. Yeah, because you know what? Men can look at a chick and be like, oh, she's got big tits. Right? Oh, she, you know, she's got blowjob lips. We're just like, I don't know if his right. cock's going to satisfy you're me. Deal- right? you're unless one in pants are involved. <laughs> right. You don't know. You don't know unless you hang out in like Do you have Margaritaville any? where everyone wears lidded pants. Right. <laughs> Right? Right. What goes on? Uh, Tommy Bahama. That's a Bill. blowjob, girl. You said you had no idea, but do you have any indicators when you walk up to a guy what, what you are in store? Actually, you, pr- you probably don't from the you stories. Know Maybe in, you've learned. In but. most cases, with the exception of when alcohol is involved, guys have a certain, I hate to use the word swagger, but guys have a certain way they carry themselves when you know they're packing. Okay. But not like a... Mm, I hate to use the word cocky, but I mean like... Not, Maybe that's where it came from. Well, yeah, probably. Hey. But guys that are well hung... Like, look at John Hamm, for example. Cock. That guy Cock. has... Cock. <laughs> that guy has a certain unspoken... Large cockness about Large him. Large cockness about him, exactly. Yes. It's his confidence, the way yes. he holds himself. And guys that are well hung, they've got it. You've got it, Henry. Thank You've you got very much. You've but, got like the confidence. You've got the but they're, assuredness. The, Women with, love that men shit. Men with little exactly. penis can adopt that. Like, my, my Donnie Depp guy had that. Who's Donnie Depp? Donnie Depp. It's Johnny Depp's She's retarded famous. brother. Oh, shit. Donnie. Oh, Donnie Depp. <laughs> so, Is that a nursery Depp. rhyme? Did he Donnie. jump over a candle and stick his finger in a pie or something? He started, oh, God. He started in Ira Scissorhands. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he had a little penis, but he had swagger. So you were fooled. Even. Yes, there are men that can fool you. No, it's true. So it, it's <laughs> all right. So it's not a foolproof. No, it's not right. foolproof. No, it goes back to your faking orgasms. Men can that's, fake that's the swagger. That's true. Men mm. can fake the cock. And if they fake the swagger, then they get a fake orgasm. As the a the war is on. That's the punishment. Circle that is your insane. punishment. That's right. Karma's a bitch. You fake the swagger, you get a fake <laughs> orgasm. Yeah. Right. That's, that's so right. basically that's what happens, huh? It's you natural know, selection. That's right. So we all end up yep. unsatisfied. Even, <laughs> even <laughs> this is terrible advice. No one should follow this. <laughs> okay. And that's why we're doing this fucking show. Right. Oh, no. So in the end, <laughs> you, should, <laughs> you shouldn't feel bad because you feel like you were conned first. Right. Okay. And I wouldn't change a fucking thing because then they, 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 they get pissed because they're like, I put on this fucking swagger and now you're, th- and now you're complaining. <laughs> What? And that's how, that's why it fight. That's, that's why, why you can't fight complain. Right. right. So you have to fake it. Exactly. It's like a, it's like, a, it's like an unspoken agreement. Listen, hooking up is like an Easter egg hunt. You never know what's going to be in the fucking egg. You never I can know. Bring this all that. back to Carlos, <laughs> the man, the poet, the prophet. Everybody lies except for doodles. That's except right. for doodles. See, everybody's fucking lying. Fluffy doodles. That's why you need to have compassion for that man. Exactly. I kind of do. Yeah. I, I'm this close to driving down to Ocala. Ocala? Ocala? I was just there. It's so weird. I was just and, in Florida. And fucking knocking on pickup trucks and being like, are you Carlos? <laughs> I got a they're, they're gonna say yes no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. I got uh, an ass that yes. wants to talk to you. <laughs> an ass with your name on it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm you can immerse you can fuck Carlos. Carlos. my ass. I would never fuck Carlos because he's got like he's got he's got donkey semen all over him. Like he's tainted That's semen. <laughs> well, not ass. semen, he's but donkey vagina lube. Yeah, the love juices of donkeys. And With whatever that is. I mean, do we oh, really man. know what goes on in a, a donkey's what? donkey vagina? vaginal secretions? How That's old the is name Carlos? of my next death metal 32. band. Carlos is 32. I mean, he's been doing this for 18 years at this point. He's been banging. And Since we know that he can't afford protection. He can't afford protection. 
So Do you he, need protection if you're banging a donkey? I would imagine so. It depends. Well, where's I mean, the donkey been? Well, maybe that's why he went for Doodle, who was so young, because he knows Doodle hasn't been around yet. Oh, yeah, that's and right. And he knows that, you know, that donkey pussy is fresh. Wise choice. <laughs> <laughs> There's logic behind that is this. fresh it's ass right so there. scary. I'm not Security. kidding. I think we can all Truth. get, like, a JetBlue ticket down there. That would cost us nothing. It would cost me a trip to TJ Maxx, let's essentially, have a, for some shitty clothes. Let's have, let's have a bake sale for cars. Yeah. Some People. donkey-shaped cookies. Yes. <laughs> Amazon.com, Gamefly. Gamefly.com. Good, some good kitty video games. The Netflix the video Netflix games. video games. <laughs> Gamefly.com forward slash. Suck. Suck. And? Tweakedaudio.com. These guys are awesome. You, If you need any kind of um, earbuds. They have all different kinds, all different colors. They have mic'd earbuds, non-mic'd earbuds. They are very comfortable. I they're need new earbuds. S- they sounds amazing. Tweak- Tell me the name again. Tweakedaudio.com. You put in the promo code SUCK and you get 33% off. I'm on that. And they're hot. They have green ones, pink ones. They have ones that are wood. They look like little wood, pieces of wood in your ears. Like oh, ones cool. you can use with your phone. That's right. We love Tweaked Audio. I love the free samples they gave us. So it's people. Really good quality. Nice. Frequent our sponsors so we can get a percentage and help Carlos and help ourselves. Use our donate button. Donate. Do all these help things. Help Carlos. Help Doodle. Doodle. Continue bringing this wonderful entertainment. Press the button and give me some Stacy shit. Oh, I'll do it for him. Henry just walked out mid taping again. Dick. But he left his phone, so he'll be back. He usually says, Oh, he's back. Yes. <laughs> You're missing your part. Here we go. Taurus is the size of a penis. Doodle. I have a gray vagina. <laughs> so I just jerked off before you picked me up. <laughs> when they say that. <laughs> okay. I had to tell you guys this. The headline was Russian man allegedly shoves foot up rectum of friend killing him. <laughs> Colon. <laughs> Colon. No pun intended. Unconfirmed report. Okay. Unconfirmed? <laughs> so so here's, they, have, they haven't found the Tiva sandal up there yet? <laughs> or or it's, just, it's just not his friend. Or it might not be his friend. <laughs> starts with acquaintance horrific crime or hoax a news video has surfaced about a russian man allegedly shoving his foot up a friend's rectum killing him the report in russian claims a 28 year old vladimir krasnov oh that vladimir of a town i can't pronounce attacked in a drunken rage last month as the victim sergey slept the two had argued (laughs) (laughs) what do you think the curve of his penis is wow I was just thinking that. <laughs> the two had argued earlier over Krasnov's girlfriend. Sergei died of internal bleeding. Oh, God. Police said in the clip. Now, Krasnov, who's in a jailhouse interview, like Carlos, seemed to blame so much in alcohol for his act, faces up to 15 years in prison I do for that. homicide. The English subtitle video was posted on YouTube. The original clip without subtitles was posted in March 22nd, what appears to be a Russian news outlet. However, a healthy dose of skepticism might be in order. A quick search in something returned no other stories about the incident. So I'm not going to play the video because this is radio, but we're all going to watch it afterwards. I want to see... That's the guy. Again, he looks very similar to Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same hairline. <laughs> wow. Can we do a study on hairlines connected to deviant sexual acts? Involving asses? Hair Involving line. asses. <laughs> and eyes. Now, all right, eyes. wait a minute. Can you really shove your foot up someone's ass without them dying? scurrying without away? Them dying. Without them well, dying, A, B, or fighting back? But this goes back to what we said. You can't rape an animal without it trying to get you off them off of you. Trying to get you off of them. And how do you shove your foot up someone's ass? Like, think about <laughs> the size of your asshole. Well, that shit had to have been stretched out 
you don't prior. Need to, you don't so need to. you do some pre-stretching and then that's sh- what like, I'm saying. I think there was some like pre-ass play so, before. So you so think Sergey was think tied that up. The, he that was sedated. <laughs> you think that he knew the other guy had a loose asshole? I think so, or or the he had already loosened it and decided to shove his foot up there for whatever so reason. So he was banging him up the ass. That's what I'm thinking. Oh. And then just in the middle you of it, you can't just shove your foot up somebody's foot ass dry. Okay. It's not happening. No lube. No. But Sergey not was happening. reportedly sleeping. That's that That's surely a woke him up. Sleeper. Yeah, that surely woke him up. He was sleeping ass up. <laughs> Like that chick. <laughs> like, like that, that chick. Right. In New Orleans. And New Orleans. Business end up. <laughs> business end up. And his Russian friend came over and That's stuck crazy his Russians foot their in curved his ass. Penis. Curved feet. Curved feet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't buy it. It's really interesting. This is, again, we need to get our news crew on this one. I know. I mean, this is I don't buy it. out of control. So they had a quarrel about a woman and he shoved his foot. Up someone's ass. Listen, I've seen <laughs> the porn videos of like the extreme ass play with the fisting or whatever else they can shove up there. This was an instance where it's like, how far can you go? And it didn't work out the way he wanted it to. And now homeboy is pressing charges. Ooh. Just while we're on the topic. Theory. Um, yes. Uh, maybe I'm alone here, but ladies who take pictures of themselves naked doing crazy shit. Mm-hmm. Stop fisting yourselves, please. I, know, so gross, I can't right? fucking deal with that. So please gross. stop doing that. I'm going to give you a Jesus. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and I still don't know why I said that. <laughs> I you have one contact and then come out of your mouth. Blacked out. That was the very special <laughs> Christmas episode. Can we get to that point again? Where I laid down it's a festive where magic blanket happens. and had sex. I laid down a festive and blanket. That's the romance that the man <laughs> said to you while he was... I'm going to give you a Jesus. Yes. A man that <laughs> refers to his penis as Jesus. Wow. <laughs> He's a very special I kind of like that. He's not a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> so his penis does not curve upwards. All right. So now that we've covered the asses um, <laughs> the asses and penises across the globe. <laughs> Dicks across America. <laughs> Dicks across America. <laughs> Carlos, Russian feet up asses. Why don't we do some, uh, some listener email? It's time to answer your emails. It's time to answer your emails. Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so we'll start off with an email from um, Benny. Ben from Richmond, Virginia. Benny. Hi, Dr. Stacy. It's Ben from Richmond and the blog, My Ideal Woman. This is the guy that has this blog called My Ideal Woman, and he listens to us and promoted us on his blog. He's awesome. His blog is awesome. Check him out. We like Benny. Right on, Benny. I heard your message about the dearth of emails coming your way and wanted to do my part to remedy that. I love eating flesh. I heard the ass off on the glory hole and it was a lot of fun to listen to and certainly made me wish I could have been there. The few pictures on Facebook helped a little bit. Wish there had been more, but certainly made it clear that why you suck in bed is blessed to have two incredibly sexy women with slamming asses and I don't envy anyone having to try and make a choice between the two of you. Smart, sexy voices and slamming asses, evidence that someone up there wants us men to be happy. I had an idea for a possible topic of discussion. What do you and Molly find most pleasurable for men to do with their hands? Hmm. Shout out to TP, John, and Henry. All y'all keep up the great work providing all your listeners with fun and sexy shows. P.S. Needed something from Amazon yesterday and made sure to go through the banner link on Why You Suck in Bed's webpage. Ben. Good man. Thanks, dude. I also like your feet. <laughs> so Ben wants to know, what do you like men to do with their hands during sex? During coitus? Coitus. coitus. Well, pre-coitus, I appreciate the paired cunnilingus fingering. Mm. I like it to be simultaneous. Here, here. I don't like either to be done alone. Solo. Save yourself. You don't like the either or. You like the choose. <laughs> What's with the miming? What were you doing there? Climbing a, a rock wall? I'm rock walling. I'm in a box. I'm in a box. <laughs> yes, you are. Like, save yourself. Kill two birds with one stone. Do it both at once. What should they do? We're going to save a lot of time. What should they Just do? Just go down, stick two fingers in, and then if you really want a little, like, surprise, try to shove a three oh. in. 
shove it in that there. for sure you're going to say fish hook, but I wasn't well, sure Well, that's going it. With that. You can do whatever you want. Well, but- b- b- before you go for the three, <laughs> what should you be doing with the two or the one? I know what to do, but what should well, you do? Uh, well, while you're performing the cunnilingus, which sounds like the Irish airline. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> airlingus. <laughs> I'm like, seriously? That exists? <laughs> wow. I'm yes. clearly not traveled enough. To Aer Lingus. Aer Lingus. I can't oh, pass awesome. that at the airport without being We're like, going to take Aer Lingus to Ocala, Florida <laughs> and go visit Carlos. <laughs> fucking Lulu. Can we get them to sponsor this somehow? I'm sure yeah. we could. We'll get, we'll some, we'll Anyways, get an Alamo, continue. rent a car, have them sponsor it. Well, can I, can I spin this on a teal and ask, like, what do you guys as men like women to do with their hands Ooh. during coitus? Oh, I was just Because ours is pretty obvious. Yeah. So. Any, anything as long as they're there. <laughs> Pretty much. But you can tell me, actually, I'll answer your question in a second, but I was so focused in on what I should be doing with my hands. <laughs> tell me if I'm wrong here. I, I thought I found the magical formula, oh. which was, I'm making faces. Okay. <laughs> Is that your seductive face? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you look like you have to ingest okay. the microphone. Ew. Are you having a stroke? He's no way. <laughs> my left eye paralyzed. <laughs> No, I Should we pretend, call someone? Yes, 911. I, pre- I pretend that the clit and the G-spot are connected. Interesting. And that there's like a tube <laughs> connecting the two of them like this. So I want to be on the G-spot here, as mm-hmm. you can see, with my finger, and with my tongue over here. That's good. Simultaneously. That is actually exactly what I was about to describe. That is... That's mm. very good. And I'll make sure you get your Boy uh, Scout badge for that yeah. one, too. I have a That's lot of good. badges uh, coming. That's for, good. I have a lot of badges coming. You my better way. buy a new mm. sash. Oh. 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 I hate when you play that. You can see it's working. <laughs> that is what you will hear. Just the description yeah. alone. <laughs> Demonstration worked. That I think men grabbing the hip. Oh, nice. big fan! Big fan. Grab you want to be manhandled? Yes, yes. Big fan. Uh, grab the hip. Grab the ass. But do yeah. I? Do I big have fan. any? Am I on the right track? Oh yeah! No, no. Oh yeah! Totally. Yeah, we, totally. We have no input there. You are one hundred percent correct. Okay. No. What, what am I doing when I do that? What are you doing? Yeah, like what? What does it feel like? What am I? Uh, you're stimulating about five hundred different nerve endings. Right, you're right. basically. I know I'm in the right spot. You're but. making us want your cock more than anything in the yeah, world. Yeah, True. That's right. That's right. That's I right. Is that <laughs> the goal? Like, that's right. That's the goal. Are the two of them connected? I have no idea. I don't know. It feels like they are. We'll yeah, well, I'm sure there's a text me somewhere <laughs> that explains all that. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but they. If they're both stimulated at once, that you basically all you all you can think about is having a penis oh, inside oh, you. Right, 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 right. Are you big on the nipple play at all? Like, during, I like some nipple play, but like I during oral or during no during sex. Really? Okay. I like so you it. don't like like when the reaching up when does no. that drive you nuts? I'm like because like they're, they're, they're always like uh, exactly. it's like it's like it's just too, out of reach. Yeah. <laughs> I feel stu- I, I feel it's like too it's much the going right on. thing to do, it, but exactly. it feels stupid because it's so far away. It, it could turn from sexy to awkward very quickly. Right. Yeah, like right. you could be choking me. You know, like it's True. poking me in the. It's a tit too far. The uvula. <laughs> it's a tit too far. The to uvula. Yeah. Like just fucking focus on my vagina. I right. will, I will. And Can't then, go wrong. Right. <laughs> and then, I will. I, I will. A breast too far. And then when, you're, breath when your penis far. is inside me, Fair you, can, you can suck on the <laughs> nips. <laughs> I'm going to do the rock There's climbing. There's so much rock climbing. I'm going to out. I have You've rock made it to the in tip. my bedroom. That's <laughs> we have had extensive discussions on nipple work. How do yeah? you feel about it? Oh, big fan. Okay. Big fan. But not all girls are. This I is just know. me personally. I know. Tell me about because it. Because nipples can be extremely insensi- insensitive. <laughs> you insensitive nipple! <laughs> you never touch me. <laughs> you don't touch me anymore. Your nipples called me the N word. <laughs> I can't even put a crass nipple. Crass. So insensitive. Nipples are so crass. So insensitive. What I'm half black. She's my friend. Nipple, go get me a glass of water. I'm done. (laughs) Fuck you. Done with this. Go make me a sandwich. (laughs) So you. How could you say that? Your nipples are insensitive. Crass nipples. My nipples that are the is shape of swastikas. 
fucking insensitive. <laughs> My nipples have no empathy for you or any of your friends. You're not a little person. You're a midget. <laughs> Why is nipples those, so mean to me? Who are those Negroes? <laughs> those damn coloreds. Get them out of here. Go order some food from the Orientals. <laughs> I hope oh you die. <laughs> you know about my pie nipple? My nipple said, I hope you die. My people, 400 years of slavery. I'm not racist, but my nipples are. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd like to apologize in advance for my racist nipples. I can't control what they say or do. Wow. All right. So, so people yeah. get hard for whites. I can't help it. I'm sorry. That's a Nazi nipple. It's Nazi nipples. <laughs> Nazi nipples. Oh, wow. oh, Jesus. You know, there's a guy named Sullivan, a psychologist. And he has a very... <laughs> he's a very respected... <laughs> Theory. And, nipples. <laughs> and Sullivan believes that there is something called the evil nipple. <laughs> and I'm listening. When I learned about it at grad school, I got the giggles and had to leave my classroom because <laughs> any normal human being would. He said nipple. <laughs> I, I was like, <laughs> let five. alone evil nipple. That's all. So tough. what's the evil nipple? Honestly, I can't remember specifics, but it had something to do with like it was like a psychoanalytic bullshit thing. Like if a child perceives their mother as having an evil nipple, they will like wow. resent her. Like this whole fucking theory. Not getting satisfied, breastfed like, when they're yeah. not breastfed. That yeah, nipple's whatever, evil. Doesn't like whatever. me. Blah 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 blah. Leads to insensitive nipples. So, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I, I guess you're not going to get your answer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So you see how insensitive we, her nipples are. She just she's ran away. Question. My, my nipple wanted a beer. Her nipples wanted. Give me a beer. She has thirsty nipples, Arr! and we've discussed that in previous nipples. episodes. She's thirsty nipples. Thirsty nipples. <laughs> Not the first. You what they want? Okay. So we've established what the men should do with their hands. What should women do with their hands? I found, for the most part, that it's really hard for women to do anything with their hands that isn't the right thing. Oh. I mean, yeah, men are easy. What I mean, what are they going to do other than nothing that is the wrong thing? How do you feel about anal stimulation? Um, because you know what? Before you answer that, sell me. I, sell I, me I, on this. I, no, no, it's not a sell. Okay, I'm just saying. In, in past experience, right. men are either so for it that they request it, right, or so appalled by it that they won't even talk about it. Exactly. There's no middle of the road. Except for me, because I'm so. Well, you're an exception. Well, you don't give a role. shit. You're just like so whatever. When I'm you, so drugged up. <laughs> We, you know, like know the we can have doodle. Is that your finger up there? Oh, we can have doodle sit on your face, yeah, and you don't care. Whatever. <laughs> what? Why are you so fluffy? Oh, that's cool. All right. Ooh. There it is. <laughs> when you say they're for it, what do you mean they're for it? For what? Like requesting a finger up their ass. <laughs> like a f- what I'm saying is like how much of a finger are you putting up there? Like what do you do when they say, right. they're like do it? You're like what? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's exactly what it sounds like. It sounds just like that, right? No, they want like either a finger. I've had a guy request two, like full on two, two knuckle deep. I can't do two. Yeah, I and and you know what? It's a little off putting. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm what to get the I, request? Yeah, because okay. I consider myself very adventurous sexually. Right, right, right. But to have a guy straight up just be like stick a finger yeah, in my yeah, ass, it's right. like whoa. Right. <laughs> you don't fuck around, right? You know what you want, but exactly. And I think that's what it has to do with is that they are experienced enough to know what it does for them, and that's what they want. Right. I am not. Fu- I'm not fully opposed to it, but and I certainly don't request it. The most I can tolerate is a finger like tip, a fingernail. Okay, right? like a fingertip. Right. right. At most teasing. At of, mo- right. Okay. Right, 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 right. Gotcha. But it's almost stupid because I, I get so, like, almost ticklish. Like, hey, you, oh, you, oh, you. You know, like, it, it, it creates a whole... Tickle me, Henry. It creates a whole uncomfortable, weird atmosphere. I get it. Yeah, you, totally. You Have you been in that situation where a guy has requested that you yeah. straight up stick your finger in his ass? And then you think about, okay, I just got a manicure how many days ago? You think about these things. I've never been requested the finger, but the tongue. Whoa. Oh. I'm really jumping over. Wow. Things, so. yeah, the finger, no. I have been trumped. But <laughs> I've been requested the tongue. And I find that when I'm inebriated, it's much easier than when I'm sober. What is Much it? like most what? sexual acts. <laughs> yeah. So... You know, I did it, and it's fine. Like, I've, I've made very clear that that's fine. I don't care. Um, and I think that men should be more open to it because anal stimulation is really good for men. 
I mean, they get a lot of pleasure out of oh, it. Oh, I, I mean... But it's a psychological hurdle they need to get over. Right. They just need to be drunk first. Yeah. Like, they have to stop thinking about how dirty their asses are. Well, that, like and they feel like it's automatically a gay, gay act if yes. they have any sort of ass play whatsoever. Right. But I don't even think that, for myself, I don't even think about it along those lines. It's, it's almost just like it's too much for me. Yeah. It's like, like yeah, it's like, like a tickling Ugh! thing. Yeah. Like, I lose my mind. Well, that's normal. But that's just like normal. for women, it's not for everybody. You know, right. it's just the same kind of thing. Right. Yeah, I mean, like, there are some things that men will do to me, and I'm like, uh, okay, after you come mm-hmm. from cunnilingus, from aerolingus... <laughs> Um, <laughs> and I co- have I collected my luggage yet, or a am nice I still waiting at the flight terminal? You with have a blanket and a pillow. And <laughs> have I have returned your seats to the upright position? Um, and they're curving up. <laughs> if they well, can, it is if they continue to fucking stimulate me, it's, it's like annoying. Ah, it's annoying. Get the fuck away yes. from me! Oh God, you're so right it's on. Like, That's so ah, true. It's too much. Right. Get off of me. And, and they want to be the hero that makes like, you come yeah, like 14 kitty times. Kitty. Yeah. No, but I think it's the same thing with men. <laughs> more rock climbing. <laughs> 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 more rock climbing happening. The hand gestures have gotten <laughs> out, out of control. control. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's the same thing with a guy. When, when you come and sometimes you just yeah, can't we'll take it those, and you, so need like to, you need to slap them away from touching <laughs> it. You right. can't even take anymore. Right. Well, the, I, I'm guilty of... I, I can't criticize. because Notice what? the hand motions I use. It's <laughs> amazing. Get away. When, when men... I, I'm guilty of when men come. I am always like, mm, I like to be a dick afterwards, <laughs> like, yeah, like play with the cock, and they're like, get the fuck off me, and I like to make them annoyed with me. Really, it's definitely psychologically. After like, they come, I drop that thing like it's a hot. Well, no, after potato. after we all come, I want them to leave. We yeah. all come, like literally. We all come. <laughs> you got a circus in your bedroom. Everybody I, comes. Confetti falls from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> 1999 plays on a radio in the background. Some guy comes in at a unicycle. <laughs> Don King shows up. It's crazy. Dick Clark. What's Dick Clark doing here? Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Doodle walks in. So intermission. <laughs> No, after we all come, I'm like, enough. Like, I really do just want to, like, go to Home Depot and get my chores done or whatever. Like, it's over. <laughs> exactly. It's nope, done. I don't need to be cuddled. Seriously. No, no I'm the same way. The I'm the same way. You're sweaty. Oh, you don't want another sweaty me. body I, on you. It's, it's over. No. But there are times where... Falling in love here, two women who don't need to be cuddled. <laughs> it's excellent. If it's like late at Couple night... Couple of heartthrobs we are. Get the it, fuck it, off me. <laughs> You made me come get out. Yeah. But if it's late at night and we all know that there's a sleepover <laughs> happening, then sometimes because I'm stuck in bed with you, I'm going to be an asshole. And I've been known to play with the penis. And it's like the same thing as continuing the oral sex. It's like, get the fuck off the... Get, ah! Because they're way too sensitive. Right. Um... Or I'll like try to pick, pop a pimple. I want to, <laughs> penis. and they get mad. They're like, because it's almost like men go into this like overly sensitive phase after they right. came over their whole body, right? And I just want to like press the buttons. You have to be careful though. So, <laughs> a girl that I was with did that, and I I had rolled over. A wait, 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 wait. What'd oh. she do? I rolled over <laughs> away from her, Jumping the gun. and she started rock climbing. <laughs> she started climbing rocks. No. <laughs> no, she did the same thing where she. I just finished, and she reached over to be a dick like you, like you've been. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I like her. I don't know her, but I like her involuntarily, just out of like a protective thing. I like threw my elbow <laughs> up. <laughs> And hit her in the face. He gave her a bruise. Oh, he knocked uh, your teeth a battered out. woman. That's right. That's great. Like most of the things that you see on the news about guys giving women black eyes, it's... Oh, it's, it's because they try to adjust the junk poise quota. Exactly. <laughs> they would not fucking get away from the cockhead. Right. They kept fucking trying to play with the cockhead. I'm being a jerk. I'm being a jerk. I'm being a jerk. And then you and have they to just got punch punched. her to get her off. Well, you know what I've done? Now we know the truth. Right. This is really bad. I you have to... see what happened to Rihanna? <laughs> Yeah. Chris Brown said, get off my dick. Get off, get off my, my dick. dick. Get off my dick. Get off my dick. Get off, get off my, my dick. <laughs> I have. Um, you know? Slapping is always welcome. I have been known to sit back and get dressed and be like, oh, look at it. It looks like a little mushroom now. Like after it's gone it's down. Shaking. And no, definitely knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> and they're like, so you're cute. an asshole. I love you. Yeah, but you know, you just came, so you so can't cute. be mad. On that note. <laughs> <laughs> It's so awesome. We're all going to see you next Tuesday. <laughs>